Gaza, a city under siege from Israeli forces. We happened to be walking home late in the evening. As we walked down the road, suddenly we were surrounded by these guys on either side of us. But that wasn't to be the story of the next 40 days. In Gaza, over one million Palestinians live under the gun, and most of the guns are Israeli. Ten years ago, Israel gave limited independence to the Palestinians of Gaza. Now, to combat the armed groups who are based here, Israel has turned Gaza into a battlefield. down there, They're, the kids are being tear gassed right now, they've been throwing stones at the tanks, the tanks have been shooting towards the children, shooting down the street. It's lethal being here. Hello, I'm calling you from Rafa, a British citizen called Tom Hun Dow has just been shot in the head by the Israelis. Rachel Corey was the first American to be killed in Gaza. She was at eye level with the, the driver of the bulldozer. She was up uh, her head and up her torso. Director cameraman James Miller and correspondent Cyrus Shah had started making a documentary for American television about children trapped in violence. James Miller was shot dead. James was wearing a helmet with TV in fluorescent letters. Abood was wearing a helmet with TV fluorescent letters. We had been sitting in a very well-lit veranda for the last four hours, filming these APCs, filming these bulldozers. I have absolutely no doubt that they had seen us, and they had seen us for exactly what we were, which was journalists. When this happens to a foreigner, everyone takes notice. For Palestinians, it's daily life, routine and bloody. 